right, guys. Um, should I say guys? I don't know if that'd be right. There's too many YouTubers that say that. Got a bunch of paperwork and stuff and not really doing much. Just a bunch of computer crap. Finally got to fly my drone for a little bit there. Hopefully. Get Chloe out of the house. Get me out of the house. Yeah, it's looking like it's... It's looking a lot better than it did a little bit ago. actually see the sun coming out that would be so awesome right now see so yeah, I'm gonna do this uh, crap here and then we'll see what happens next so it looks like the weather is breaking up it's so beautiful we're almost there I think mine was almost that high and uh, I don't think, uh, I don't understand the, the zones yet. I should probably check that out before I start flying this thing everywhere. I had mine pretty high. I think it was like almost 300 feet in the air. That one looked about, that plane looked about 300 feet in the air. Don't want to freak anybody out. Funny thing is there's no airport for miles. I don't understand why they're flying so low over here. Looks so crappy over there. Portland? Vancouver? Let me know what you guys think of this quality of this camera here. I know the gradient, there's like a weird pixelation going on. You, you can't really tell though. I was thinking about getting a different one, but I don't know. I was thinking about a GoFundMe, but I don't know. I just don't know about that. The field of view of this camera is a little strange too because I mean it's not a vlogging camera, it's a it's an action camera. It's kind of like a GoPro. <laughs> and I think I'm holding this a little too close to my nose. You're getting nostril shots all the time. So I'll try to work on that. I have a lot of drone footage today. Oh, hey, you do? You want to go down the slide? What I really like about this camera is <laughs> this app here. Inception. A couple of rain droplets here and there. It's not going to hurt anything. Again. <laughs> that was funny. Music industry. I started DJing around 2003. 2006 it was a while ago CDJs I have mixers I have speakers I have lights I have stands all this crap in my garage still I really enjoyed it there was a lot of people that were shady I would say 60% of the time I was working I was creating logos to DJ for them I was working for them basically just to get a DJ spot in some of the venues or some of the uh, some of the events and I know there's still a lot of people on my Facebook that I still actually know that still DJ thumbs up to you if you're still DJing I used to produce a lot of music during that time I was a DJ I really enjoyed it 
I enjoyed the atmosphere. I enjoyed making people dance. If you're asking what kind of genre I was into, I was into house, trance, progressive, um, and a very, very tiny bit of dubstep. My biggest idols were probably Armin Van Buren, um, DJ Tiesto, before he got famous, or before he was more mainstream, J Tech, Artie. I kind of enjoyed the drum and bass side of electronic music as well. There was a lot of artists that I liked. Pendulum, Sub Focus, <laughs> Netsky, list goes on. If you ever get a chance, check those guys out. I played at a couple big events here in Portland, and I even put on a couple events of my own, one of them being very successful. We sort of created a name for ourselves, and I tried, I tried so hard to actually create more events, and it came down to money. And at the time, I was the only one that was kind of just paying for the whole thing. That's why I have so much equipment still. And I still get, you know, questions about, or I still get invitations, or I still get people asking me, Hey, will you come do my wedding? Hey, I got a birthday coming up. And I always say, yes, of course. Just uh, let me know. Even to this day, I'm still making music. I still really like the progress you get out of it, just like I was talking about when I'm editing these videos. We're leaving the park now. Do you have fun? I really want to make this vlog very interesting, compelling. I want to get interesting shots with this drone, visit some uh, national parks or something, fly it up in there. Let me know what you guys think. But no, seriously, when I see those views go up, when I see those likes go up, it gives me more motivation to actually do these things and I really do enjoy your guys' feedback. Alright, we're back. Uh, got some footage. Let me know what you guys think. Leave some comments below and thanks for watching.